the dishwasher. Pause for a moment. Shut up for a minute. So guys, you'll probably hear some water, but I'm doing my laundry. It is Sunday. Happy Sunday. Thank you to everybody who bought the camera with me survival guide. I'm wishing abundance and ever flowing prosperity over your businesses. Comment down below if you bought it and what do you think of it. Email me at help at candlemakingsurvivalguide.com if you have any questions about it and if you need to work through certain questions regarding visualization activities as well as the steps to get business funding. But yes, yes, y'all, it's Sunday. Typically, I don't record on Sundays, but your girl has been on top of things yesterday. The reason why the vlog last week was 15 minutes is because I spent so much more time cleaning out my entire closet yesterday instead of vlogging. I was like, I'm gonna take a break from vlogging. You guys know I don't ever take a break. I have never taken a break from YouTube for two years. So, wow. <laughs> Shit. So, with that, I never taken a break. I'm like, I should probably just take some time for myself to clean up. So, my closet, like, I have moved everything out of my dresser that I hated. It's this brown dresser I hate that I can't wait to get rid of. And I put everything into a white dresser. Yes, guys, definitely take advantage of the sale. This is an interactive workbook that will take your business to the next level with actionable items to get you there. Show up for your business, invest in your reality, take control of the narrative, and escape your nine to five with this ultimate candle making survival guide. Yes, guys, it truly works. And it incorporates visualizations that definitely help you identify where your limiting beliefs are and take your mindset to the next level. Beyond that, I did want to share with you all that this brand, Five, is having free, um, sending out free CBD THC gummies. Um, but the beyond that is like you have to pay $10 shipping. So it's like not really free, but it's kind of free. You know, one of those. So I was just going to, it's like hard. It's like a medicine. You have to press it and squeeze. Which it shouldn't be because it's too wide for it to be that concept. I'm stressed. You're supposed to press it and squeeze. But like, how can you press and squeeze a wide cap like this? Maybe it's because of kids. Whatever. But it has CBD uh, and THC felt gummies. I've I'm not a good person. I don't really handle THC well, but I do like to take, you know, risks. So usually I just do 20 grams of CBD. This is 25. And then usually it's just Martha Stewart. It's, it's sold in the vitamin stores. Take this is off the internet, so we don't know. So I'm going to take one. Y'all, these taste so good. I have never tasted anything like it. It was like bursting flavor in my mouth. So tasty. I can barely chew it, like it took a minute. I don't know y'all saw that. Mmm, it was so good. I could taste the THC though. Mm. I haven't had THC since but like a month ago there was a smoke shop and they have C B D THC canned sodas. I don't have one. And it was, um, I'll have one. Oh, shit. <laughs> this is going to hit quick. And it would make me cry. And my eyes were, like, glossy. Like, high. I was high. My eyes were glossy like it was high. So we'll see how this goes. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? It is Monday. Happy Monday. It is the Cyber Monday, the day after Black Friday weekend. I hope you guys got a whole bunch of sales Black Friday. Um, if you didn't, download the Candle Making Survival Guide. It'll give you some easy, actionable steps to get you some sales, girl. But yeah, it is Monday and it is 4 p.m. and we are about to go to the store because I wanted to get something for a skinny margarita because we're going live at 5. It's not 4 per se, it's 3.47 so I'm not that late. But yeah, I'm going to hurry up and go to the store because I want to get back and have everything set up before 5 so that I'm not late to the live because I love to be on time for y'all. 
Okay, guys, as always, the live was a success. I am moving from bi-weekly lives to weekly lives, so you will get a live every Monday, so definitely join at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time because it's always lit. This time, girl, girl made a cocktail. I don't know what I'll make this next week. I don't know. I might make something else, like a martini. <laughs> Okay guys, so I gave in and printed them on regular paper just because my printer wasn't acting right. Okay guys, I wanted to show you real quick everything I got from Amazon. Um, so there was the Cyber Monday sale to get advantage of from fitness wear. So I got this cute, well this is not fitness wear, this is fall. So, I look really good in like green, especially with my hazel contacts here. Y'all see them? Um, these greens look really good on me. So, I got this two-piece set in medium. This shirt is oversized, as you can see. But that is perfect. That's what I like. And then, these are going to fit snug medium. That's my size. And pants. And I'm just so lucky. I'm like one of the few people who have like a long torso and thick thighs. So, I'm able to fit longer people's pants <laughs> I don't know it's hard to explain but I got some other stuff I also got some Beatles silver gel nail polish it was like five dollars and if you if you don't know by now i do my own nails on this channel um i do gel x nails and what i found with this y'all period 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 what i found is this is like i finally figured out a method to get them to last longer um typically i will do my gel x nails and they'll pop off in a week but this time it's been um it's been a week and a half they haven't popped off so i finally figured out a good method so i was like why not take it to the next level my nails are lasting your girl's nails are lasting let's take it to the next level and um do this viral instagram design where it's like short almond nails with pink and then the tips are like this ombre silver i'm gonna do that i'll insert a picture right here and i'm gonna do that um probably in a week like because these i'm gonna keep these on as long as they can possibly stand and i'll show y'all but yeah i'm so happy i got that it was on sale and then i got some other stuff that i'm gonna open <laughs> with the wick trimmers So I got this really cute green fitness set. I've just been into green lately, just money. <laughs> so it's like a light green set. Um, this is really good rib material, size medium for the shirt and for the pants. Um, so these are the good scrunch up booty uh, pants that you're supposed to get from Amazon. These really help your booty look good at the gym. <laughs>
I also have a box, which is next level for my wick trimmer. So bear with me. I could go get scissors, but there are two flights up, and y'all know I work out too much. I'd be so sore about that. Oh yeah. So I also got this Queen V uh pH balanced bubble bath. So this is so good for your you girls. Like you wanna have a bubble bath, you don't know, but you're not really supposed to be sitting in regular soap. It's not good for you. Um yeah, I've never really ran into any scenarios, but I'm like, why not be safer than sorry? So I got this Queen V, which I love. Um I used to get the wet wipes from there and then um I found this on Black Friday. I was like, I want to buy it. It was like $5. It was so cheap. Um, but it's micro V ohm friendly and pH balanced with green tea, mango, chamomile extracts developed with gynecologists free from paraffins and dyes. So it's for women. Oh, it smells so good. And it was developed with gynecologists. That's so great. For us ladies out here, you want to take a nice bubble bath and you just, you know, get it right. Live your best life. So it says, hi queens, did you know that good and bad bacteria thrive in and around your vaginal ecosystem, aka the intimate microbiome? This environment, we like to call it the microbiome, or viome, can be impacted by pH and harmful ingredients. We have a royal announcement. This product is formulated to royally respect your intimate microbiome. Thank you. So, this is great. It's just a bubble bath that respects your lady parts. And then I bought um, something else green. I don't know, I've been into green lately. Money shot right now. I bought this green zip up that I'm probably gonna return because it doesn't look like it did on the picture. I'll show you the picture right beside this, but yeah, I'm probably, yeah, I'm definitely gonna return this. this Hey y'all, what's up y'all? It is Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. Hope y'all are feeling amazing after Black Friday. I still haven't packed all the orders yet, but we're on the right track because I have all of the labels printed. I don't know where I put them, which is why we're in a circle. Oh, there they are. They're right here. Here are all of the Black Friday labels. Um, I couldn't print on my thermal later printer because it's like weird, but we don't care. You know, bosses take losses, you rise to occasion. So I did a story time video on Sunday of a thing I did, you know, back in college, after I graduated college, did something crazy. So I did a story time on it and I made wax melts and I thought, you know, for a story time, it probably would be beneficial to label them during the story too. I mean, that just seems like it, it completes it. You know, it's just done once you label it. So I'm about to go to the store. I feel like I need to be drinking more water. Um, but yeah, I'm about to go to Walmart because that's where I found these custom wax belt labels that fit the entire thing. And I'm going to go to Kohl's. I need to make some returns. So, yeah, I'll do both of those things. Also, I'm thinking another reason why I can't pack orders just yet is because, okay, I want to make sure I have enough of everything. I have enough. <sighs> okay, y'all, I am back from the Walmart. Coles and I went to the vitamin shop. <laughs> I love going to the vitamin shop. It's always a whole bunch of big buff men. They're like, hey, how you doing? Hey, how you doing? And they're like, they're like, they both were talking in unison. It was kind of funny. Like this is a light skin buff guy and a dark skin buff guy. And the light skin was like, hey, how you doing? And the dark skin was like, hey, how you doing? It's like seconds after each other so that they didn't know each other were about to say it and they did it and it was like do you need help finding something do you need help finding something twice and then it was like um are you ready to check out are you ready to check out twice <laughs> and i'm just 
it's like I love this attention, but um, yeah, they're not in my pay grade. <laughs> you know, y'all. I've been dipping in my own supply. I have um, just burned Aquarius. I burned Libra the other day. Like I love my candles. But yes, yes, y'all, I'm wearing this nameplate from Carativa. I'm not, this is not even my vibe, but I just put it on. <laughs> this ring here, this ring is from Julia Jewelry, right? Shout out to them for sponsoring today's video or just sending me this ring for the free. And I was upset with them, right? I was like, I want them to pay. But my good God, this ring, oh, it just makes me so happy. Like what? It makes me so happy. Um, I feel like this is the wedding side. This is the wedding side. But I've been wearing it on this side because I'm not engaged or nothing. I remember I had a boss and I can naturally, I feel like I naturally appear to be flirting and I think that he thought that because in all of our meetings he would like hold his hands up like this to show his wedding <laughs> I swear. And I, I just like, I'm like, oh man, why is he doing that? Plus like, I mean... Yeah, in terms of social interactions, I'm pretty sure that's where that went, but my bad. I didn't mean it in that regard. But I swear, he would always like, like, y'all, this is his ring on his finger. And me, he's like, yeah, so really, this is all you need to do. And then you just, yep, and then, like, because specifically, and then, you know, like, <laughs> it was basically what he did in the meetings. And I was just like, why do you keep showing me? Like, I didn't make any kind of advance at you. I, crap, <laughs> I didn't want to show y'all what I got from Walmart. Um, I got, you ever like go into the store for something you want, you found it so quick that you just like, you want to, it's like too good, you want to just keep the good going, you just buy something. So I bought a 2023 planner. Every time I hear 2023, I just hear like the city girls, 2020 vision. <laughs> But it's so cute, guys. Like, it's pink, and it's so organized, and I feel like it'll really help just to write everything out in a book. I like to write with a pen and paper. It really helps me organize. So I bought this just to go through my list every day. Um, I got some gum. Of course, girls always want to have gum. And then... I got these labels. See, these are Avery's 25395 labels, and they cover the entire wax melt. So I do get those questions a lot. A lot of people are like, where do you find stickers that cover the entire thing? And I get them from, um, I got them from Walmart. So yeah, you can probably find them on Amazon, 25395. Five, I'm telling you, when you go to Walmart and get anything Avery, it is cheap. Like shipping labels are $5 in there, but if you go to Amazon and get the shipping labels, they're like 15. And then I got more tape. I was running low on tape. This is all that I have left. And I know I have to pack nine orders. Um, <laughs> maybe today, most likely tomorrow, I have to pack all those orders. So I got this tape for that and then I got more bubble wrap and everything was just so easy, boom, boom, boom. So I was like, wow, this is perfect. Yeah, so I did return that green shirt I was showing y'all the other day because it looked so cheapy, cheapy. I didn't even try it and I was like, say less, I already know I'm not gonna like it. But yeah, I'm about to go upstairs and print labels for these new wax melts I made for the story time. Oh, they smell so good. I'm just curious to like, can you smooth can you smooth out the top of a wax melt with a heat gun? Is that is it? Yeah. I'll just have you guys in my hand while I do this. Because I chose violence. <laughs> Let me know if this is even my thing. Oh. I have to use a certain hand.
Okay, we'll see if that helps. It smells so good. It smells like perfect a cologne. Uh, okay. Because, okay, it does help a little bit. Because all of them came out like bumpy. But then I'm like, I don't even think it'll affect anything. Like, I would still, if I got this like textured thing, I would still break it down and go melt it. Like, that's the purpose of this. So I'm not going to worry about that. Um, but yeah, I have to do two names for these um, candles. I think one is Amber, Amber Night. <laughs> I just need to make up names. Like, the main reason why I do everything with um, creative stuff is because it comes easy to me. And yeah, it was really hard to get out of corporate America because I'm conditioned to doing that. But I also know in my heart that I'm a creative and it's harder for me to assimilate to a team environment because I'm just an artist. Like, <laughs> that's the only way to put it. So I'm still drinking this pineapple juice from the live on Monday, but it doesn't have any, um, what's it called? Alcohol in it. I don't like alcohol too much. It, takes, it wastes my time. That's why I can't really do THC. Like, because I have the type of anxiety where most likely I would benefit from um, THC, but I won't be productive. Yeah. So the way I see it is I'd rather be productive and have anxiety than not get anything done and be feeling super happy, healthy, and healed. But yeah, I'm about to print these labels out and I'll show you them when they come out.
something in to my house and they are just digging holes in the ground right now and I'm just like I mean it technically plugged into her house so it's not really my power but that's crazy this is a mess this neighborhood is a mess and I've always been thinking like I'm gonna miss having a town home but I feel like when I move very soon, I want something that's like really nice, but nowhere near construction. I mean, yeah. But I've been talking very calm today because I have not had any caffeine. That's something I'm working on. Like I do too much caffeine. I do. And caffeine is like the, the very thing that can help motivate you to do something but it's actually you could do the same too the opposite like as it relates to you would um take too much caffeine and um die you know what I mean like take too much caffeine and you can't focus because you're so fidgety so I've been really calm and organized also I had CBD yesterday I cannot ever I will never try THC ever again in my life THC is not for me I cannot do it Nigga in a race, I really might tap Kill this nigga on my face Lil CC, let it slap with the base. I used to save hoes with a mask in a cave Now I'm like, nah, love, I'm good, go away Ain't about to die with no money I done gave I was on top when that shit meant a lot Still on top, like I'm scared of the drop Still on top, when these niggas wanna swap Niggas wanna swap, like it's all civil bots I don't wanna change, cause I'm good where I'm at Mom ties, so I'm always good where I'm at Word of Junior, Jazzy, Baby J, tell them when I die, put my money in the 
couple friggin' killer skulls to collect. She fuck a nigga, then she on to the next. Really living large, she ain't all with a Mac. When you niggas think it's small in the mall with a rat. Roll with us if you really wanna get it. Go get a half a million in the sprinter. Phone ringing, bitches know a big triple. I got the hook up in the really no limit. Dead brokers in you nigga DNA. Ricky Smile is indicated with the hate. Little nigga, just another state case. Very nine motherfucker chase bank, time to bounce. Gotta count on my allowance. You niggas push so I gotta rewrite it. The nigga trippin' like I got a zillion dollars. Got the trap jumpin' like time when I'm free. Work. I, I, I think it's good. <laughs> So, yes, guys, the sun came out. Oh, perfect timing. So, I'm going to go ahead and load up the wagon for my first round of boxes. Okay, they all fit. Perfect, which is great because I did not want to make two trips. But I'm going to show you what it looks like here. Oh, I need to turn the car off. I also focus on... Um, uh, packing, I didn't realize you had to turn the car off. <laughs> okay, lock the door. It's just been a busy day. I hear something. Oh, my car beeps if something's too close to it, and the wagon is too close to it. So, okay. Let's try not to drop anything. I want to do a picture for Instagram. This is just like last year. Same wagon, different car, different camera, different person. Like I've been through so much. Like not bad, but so much good stuff. Okay, let's do a boomerang. Here we go. Just want to make sure we have some content for like a, a compilation. I offer down a compilation. I feel like that'd be nice. Thank you for letting me go. Oh, thank you, sir. So much easier to do this when no one's here. I feel like somebody dropped a check. Oh, no. That has to be the worst feeling to drop a check. Okay, no, that's the worst feeling. I dropped a box. Back in there. Okay. <laughs> it's gonna fall again. <laughs> feels when you get a package to see the notification like it's on the way so I'm gonna scan them that was so nice i actually took the time to scan every single one of those in just because i know that feeling of hearing your orders on the way getting an email feels so good from like when i purchase something so i wanted to have that you know have people feel the same so now i'm about to go to sephora and the mall i'm hungry but i like don't want to eat because i want to lose weight so i'm trying to like intermittent fast Ooh, it's the growth for me <sighs> y'all yeah mm -hmm. don't play with it don't play with it don't play with it don't play with it hey y'all what's up y'all it is saturday and i have been just, I went to the gym this morning. I did legs twice this week, which is not, or 
close together which is not common for me typically I'll do legs one day and then I'll wait two full days and then do legs again but I did legs Thursday and today Saturday and it was amazing like I went to Gold's Gym it was my first time uh, second time going to Gold's Gym and I got a really great workout in I did not drink my entire pre-workout which makes me so happy because if you drink too much pre-workout you can you know have a heart attack and freak out but stuff I did 50% of it and it was like the sweet spot it was perfect I feel so good I'm working on intermittent fasting my butt is huge y'all can see <laughs> okay so I got some Yes Way Rosé because I really wanted to drink some rosé. I don't know if y'all remember that vlog I did on Valentine's Day. Um, I went to a hotel and the hotel had a Target built into it. And they had this Yes Way Rosé and I used this for the aesthetic and it was a vibe. And I got really lit off one bottle so I was like, let me get that. Then I got this red lentil pasta. It's really good for high protein and they didn't have veggie pasta and I can't play games with regular refined carbs so I just went for this gluten-free simple ingredient lentil we'll see how it tastes never had it got lighters because I know I make candles I love candles and um yeah that's why I got those I also got some tomato basil and garlic for the red lentil it's only 60 calories excited to try that then I got some whole wheat ultra thin mini piece pizza crust organic so I'm gonna make a pizza right now. The oven is preheating. We also got some mozzarella and parmesan. Y'all, I love parmesan, but I know parmesan doesn't taste good to me alone on a pizza. So I was like, I really wish I had mozzarella and parmesan. I was like, oh my God, they have it blended. So it's blended. This is perfect because your girl does not need to have a full bag of parmesan and a full bag of mozzarella. That's a little bit too much for me because I live alone. I'll probably eat it all and then I'll just blow up like a hot potato. So yeah. And I also got some turkey bacon, turkey pepperoni, because it's healthier than regular bacon, 60% less fat. I got some veggie straws instead of Nutella, because y'all, I love Nutella, but I decided not to do Nutella. Don't go the Nutella route, because Nutella is like, it's like adding to my body, and I can fit it in. Then I also got this 60 calorie little sour gum, this whole bag of 60 calories. And then I got some, I can't believe it's not butter, zero calories, because your girl is not playing, it's not playtime. I also got some Dove Advanced Care, comment below if you have a better recommendation for deodorant, but this is what I've been using for 29 years. You also got some agave, it's only 60 calories. Somehow this is better than honey, I will Google it and let y'all know, but it is so much better than honey. I also got some pesto sauce, amazing. This is the ba only bad thing I got, guys, is 300 calories per tablespoon. It's crazy, but it's so good, y'all. This is the best creamy Genovese, it tastes so good. Somehow I still lose weight with it, so that's why I got it. Um, I got some gum, because I know when I'm trying to lose weight, I typically need to chew gum and during the day instead of overeat. I got steam in the bag, Brussels, very easy. I got some more steam in the bag. Some more, and I got steam in the bag broccoli. The oven is almost preheated, you guys. Also, I love kombucha, so I got three kombucha strawberry serenity, strawberry serenity again, and I got lemon berry. I love kombucha, it's so good for your digestion and gives you a little buzz too, but it's non alcoholic. Um, then for the pizza, yes, I have marinara, but I wanted to get actual pizza sauce. So I got ragu pizza sauce. It's 35 calories. They had a vegan version, but I was like, let's not go vegan for tomatoes. Let's just go real tomatoes. <laughs> then I got these little cans of water, tropical cherry flavor. They were like 79 cents. So I got four. In hindsight, I should have got a 12 pack, which would have came out at the same price. The oven is ready. So let's... Make a pizza, but first, enjoy the satisfying time lapse of me putting all this stuff away. When I die for my money in a grave, I really gotta put a couple niggas in a place. Really just slap every nigga in a race. I really might tap till this nigga on my face. Let it slap with the bass. I used to save hoes with a mask in a cave. Now I'm like, nah, I love a good old way. Ain't if I just die with no money, I ain't paid. If I can make a pizza, I'm just gonna put it all over I use 
Bath & Body Works Island Papaya. It smells so good. I never run out. Okay. Now that my hands are completely clean, I'm going to go ahead and place my crust on the thing. But before I do that, I'm going to spray some, I can't believe it's not butter on there. <laughs> do anybody else bite stuff? Bite everything? Cause I do. I do. It smells like it's of any. Okay. Should I do both? Yeah, I'll probably do both pieces. I'm starving. Okay. There you go. Keep crust. Peel here. Okay, perfect. So now I have two pizzas, get into that butter. And then I'm just gonna open everything up. So I can throw all this away at once. Okay. I smell the cheese already, it smells so good. So now, I'm going to spoon and a knife. Okay. You spoon it out, okay? And you spread it out with a knife. That's what I do, okay? Spoon it out, spread it out. Mm, mm, mm. Should I make a barbecue pizza? No. I feel like barbecue pizza is only good with like grilled chicken. Or pesto pizza? No. Should I make a pesto pizza? No. Um, I don't know. I might. Okay, we're gonna make one pesto pizza. Pesto pizza. That's all the pesto. No more. Pesto, okay, a little bit more. <laughs> There's so much calories in pesto. So I'm just trying to spread it thin. Okay, period, so exciting. Now, we go cheese. Smirk. I always open it, but then not open it. Damn. All right, got it, so. A little bit of cheese. And then pepperonis and more cheese. <laughs> Turkey pepperonis. Turkey pepperonis. Ooh, they stink. I don't know if I need pepperonis on that one. It seems like a different vibe. Yeah, so then the calories saved from pepperonis matches the amount of calories in that pesto. Perfect. <laughs> okay, we'll mark up right. There we go. 
Okay, let me put this stuff away. of it. Maybe a little more over here. Not too much. Wow, what a great idea to do mozzarella parmesan in one bag. I love Target. Okay. Okay, I'll put this in the oven. But if y'all want to see it, I'll show you with it. Here's what they look like before and I'll show you after. Okay, this is the final result. Um, I tried one of these pepperonis, they're gross. I guess it's healthier, stuff is nasty. But this looks so good, this pesto pizza. I'm so glad I decided to do that, so yeah. Okay guys, that was the end of this week's vlog. I just wanna thank y'all so much for watching. If you made it this far, definitely give the video a thumbs up. I am also going to be going live on Monday, so definitely stay tuned for that. And I hope you all enjoy the rest of your day, your week, your next hour. Just live in your purpose and love life. Okay, bye. Show up for your business, invest in your reality, take control of the narrative, and escape your 9 to 5 with this ultimate candle making survival guide. Yes, guys, it truly works. And it incorporates visualizations that definitely help you identify where your limiting beliefs are and take your mindset to the next level. Drop it like a body, drop it like a body.